So, what I'd like to do is I'd like to tell you that um, my views on the scriptures are views that come from speculation on whether I'm wrong or not. If you really want to know something, you've got to look at everybody's argument against it first before you look at your own, what you're standing on. See, if I'm going to build, let's say I build a shelter or I build a, a tree house, right? And say I think that I built it really well, but I haven't gone up in that tree house yet, right? I'd probably bring about 10 friends up there and jump up and down on the platform and see if, see if it holds. If that platform falls apart, then I, uh, I, I can't be confident in my building. So when it comes to learning the Bible, the scriptures, the truth, anything it is, if you don't play devil's advocate with yourself, if you don't, if you don't challenge, and if you're not challenged, you're never going to grow. You're always going to stay in your same pig-headed, idealistic world that doesn't work in the real world unless it's tested. And that's what I'm giving to you. If I'm wrong or if, a point to, if there's a point where I'm wrong, play the devil's advocate. Play your advocate. Play your opposition. Teach yourself. Find out whether or not you're wrong or not before you start answering questions. Um, it's, it's a dangerous thing to do, but it's freeing to find the truth. So with the book of Revelations, I've read it. I've come to my conclusion. But Jay, this is to you. I, I challenge you to read your book and read all the criticisms against it. Find people who, who have arguments against it and look into their arguments. And then look at your point of view and give a well-rounded idea of, well, this person has this point of view. I don't agree with this point of view according to this. This person has that point of view. I agree with this point of view due, due to this, that, the other thing. And in this way, when you... When, when you when you come across to people, whether they agree with you or not, at least you will have given them a firm foundation. I hope it's helpful. I want you, or anybody, to become the most utmost authority on what you're talking about and what you're arguing against. And you know everybody else's arguments so that you can say, oh, I see what you're thinking, but let me bring this up and show you that I've been through that thought process. And this is what I see. And you can tell me what your thought process is about that. This is iron sharpening iron. This is men's countenance sharpening the countenance. of It's not, it's not bad debate. It's good debate. It's a good thing to talk about these things. God bless.